you all know I would not be the garden queen if I did not take it over the top. I don't know about you, but I feel like this year I'm running behind. Today we're going to be doing a layered tablescape for my St. Louis home here. Now I have some wonderful beauties inside of this box and I am so excited to share them with you. And it's just only going to show you just the tip of the iceberg. Get in close so I can show you the treasures that I have inside of this box because I'm super excited. I've really been waiting to use these and I just feel like everything is going to come together just so effortlessly. You guys look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, absolutely beautiful. These are part of the Southern Living Collection and I just love everything about the detailing. I love how they have the antique gold feel. I love the scalloping on the edge of the plate. Now, I do feel like in order to really make this pop, I do wanna try to go find a, a different type of plate in order to complement the shape here. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so first thing we'll do, so this is going to be our charger plate here. And so let me show you how we're going to, a couple of the items that we're gonna to use to build and layer this. And we'll just set these off to the side for right now. Just absolutely gorgeous. I like to store my napkins by color coordination. So here we have the beiges, we have some grays down here, and we have a various selection of different types of napkin rings. So this is the colorway that I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna pull four of these. And one, two, three, and then one more. So four. So we are going to pop these in the washer, but for right now, we're just going to set them off to the side and we're going to get our napkin rings here. So for this look, we're going to build a little bit. So we're going to grab three of these with four. So four sets. And what I like about these is they have gold, copper, and silver. And then we're also going to grab an additional napkin ring because one of the things I like to do, I like to build, if you will. We'll take our napkins and throw these in the wash real quick. We're going to start to build the centerpiece for our tablescape here. And we'll grab the vase and then we'll rewind back in time because in order to complete this look, we had to do a little bit of prep work weeks ago. So let's hop back and it'll give you the foundation of this arrangement. We're going to grab out this vase right here and this is going to be part of our centerpiece arrangement i have this glass bowl and i have some rocks these are actually aquatic gravel or fish gravel i have some water and then I have my paper wipes here. So I just need four bulbs for this arrangement. So one, I want the bulbs to be nice and, and uniform. 
So like something like this is not going to work for the arrangement. I want them to all kind of be shaped like this. Here's two more. Here is another one, but what we can do is we can just pop this off on the side because I want them all to be uniform. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our fish gravel here. And this actually glows in the dark. And so we'll pour a little bit of water in here. Just a little bit. Okay. In order to get the layered look that I'm going for, what we're going to do is we're going to build on this arrangement here. Now, Let's go ahead, let's set up the centerpiece. was the worst the absolute worst getting all of the adhesive off but let me show you my good friend that I use when I am trying to get adhesive off of 
any type of vases or charger plates in this matter because we definitely don't want to use anything abrasive. So this is Goo Gone. This is what I use. I'll be sure to link this in the description box. And I'm telling you, instead of just taking a straight razor to whatever adhesive you're using, this does wonders. Now, all of our charger plates are clean and I am absolutely obsessed with them. Again, this is the Southern Living Collection and I believe this may have been, I'll try to link these if I can find them or something similar to them, but these are absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and finish this tablescape. tablescape is complete without having your napkins in place and I used to spend so much time ironing out my napkins tablecloths and things of that nature and then steaming to get the wrinkles out at the last minute but now I'm just so obsessed with my washer and dryer. It actually has the capability to do all of that for me. So I get done with tablescapes almost effortlessly. We're going to be building our look here when it comes to our napkin rings. That's one of the things I like to do. It adds a little bit of character. Well, not a little, but a lot in my opinion. And it just really takes it over the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of our triple metals, so our silver, our copper, as well as our gold, and we're going to go ahead and put that at the top. But then we're going to come in and solidify the look with just a slight bit of bling, and it's going to just push everything over the edge, or at least I think it will. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm shaking up this gold pigment here because we are going to write out our menu that we're going to be having. You also can use the same technique if you want to do a place setting. And what we're going to use is a magnolia leaf because that's going to bring everything back into play. So pick the size of magnolia leaf that you'd like to use. And I actually might go a little bit larger. And I want a nice deep green here. I'm just going to lay out my magnolia leaf and I'm going to write out the menu on here. And we're just going to use our calligraphy pen here. And I have a little bit of ink and we'll just start writing this out. So it should go by really, really quick.
this is where it'll sit and so you'll be able to see it the menu oh it's not dry yet but it'll be one on this side and then one on the other side as well now it's time to actually finish this arrangement you all know i would not be the garden queen if i did not take it over the top so our arrangement that we did on our live here we go right here so here's our arrangement let's top this baby off Amen. We use a silver charger and then we use like a champagne and silver and glass charger plate. It also has that mirror antiquing detail on it as well. We use a scallop plate and versus coming back in and doing something different. We went ahead and we used a second scallop plate. Our champagne flute has the copper stem clear at the top. I just feel like if we would have went in clear, it just would not have given us the look that we needed because I knew that I was going to come in with a clear arrangement here at the bottom. Now we use a magnolia leaf here, which is a nod to our arrangement at the top. And then at the bottom, we have our paper whites that we forced. We also gave a flickering glow at the bottom as well. We even followed the details up and gave a nod back to our paper whites that's at the top. And we took a pair of tweezers and we stretched the paper white all the way to the top of the vase. We have magnolia leaves and then at the very tip top, you have the beautiful paper white shining through. And our napkin ring is really what ties in the look even down to our second napkin ring you can see where it's just not one type of crystal here there's a champagne color crystal if you will and versus going with a blingy type napkin we went ahead and we just went with a nice satin champagne color and i absolutely love the way that everything just ties in so effortlessly Now let me show you what all of this looks like once the lights are down low.